Hey guys, what's up Libra? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is gonna be a reading for your week ahead. We're gonna do Sunday through Saturday and break it down day by day. Uh, so you can have a heads up of the general energies and actions. Try to avoid what you need to and not miss what you shouldn't. All right, so I will timestamp this below. So if it does resonate, please make sure that you uh, like and subscribe below so you can come back to it. All right, also remember it's a general energy. So just take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. Also remember overall energy, please, that the energies can be reversed on any given day. It can be um, your energy or the energy of the person you're around, somebody you're dealing with. So take it how it resonates. All right, so you have the hangman, Pisces energy, Cancer Scorpio, no, sorry. Um, the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The devil is there, Capricorn energy. So for some, um, you may have like a drinker around you or somebody who's kind of been falling back, but like hanging on or something that it doesn't even have to be a person, right? It could just be something, you know, that just keeps like hanging on, like I said. So for some with the King of Pentacles right over top of that, all right, and the high priestess is down here. Um, you know, it could, it could be somebody, oh shit, somebody who's really like into money, materialistic, something like that. But it also feels like something, cause the king of pentacles is that devil that can kind of be like a possessive energy. So it's, it's almost like something here that just keeps hanging on, hanging on. But on, you do have, uh, the ace of cups here. So you could have brand new love starting or something kind of being rekindled. Um, there's a need here with the hangman. Um, it feels like this is kind of just something that's just been hanging on to you, but it's also about um, looking at things from all angles and all perspectives. So for Sunday, we should, you got the Ace of Cups. That is love, baby. All right, thank you. The Three of Pentacles. One more for Libra for Sunday. Oh yeah, the moon. Wow, this is Cancer Pisces energy, but this may be hidden here. This could be around someone that you work with, um, but there is like with the Three of Pentacles. If if it's not around, like you you know you're working and things like that, it feels like there's something hidden here. But um, that you will be like, it's like working together, planning, teamwork type thing, trying to build. Could be like making plans. But it is definitely hidden from you. Um, you may choose to keep this hidden as well. Yeah, the Queen of Cups could be a Cam Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Your intuition, like your third eye, your abilities this week are crazy high. Um, pay attention to your dreams because they have a lot to tell you. They're trying to tell you something. Something's like trying to break through your intuition trust all that this week because it's crazy high for you all right so monday you have the eight of wands this is some type of communication could be um that's your energy with the queen of swords here give me one more for mon monday the, whew, you got the empress and the emperor this is your energy, Taurus, Libra energy. This is Aries energy, but it does not even matter. Um, you could have like a divine counterpart, soulmate type person there communicating with you. Definitely could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be an Aries. It doesn't matter. That's that's crazy. I mean, that's crazy good. That's, that's crazy cool. Uh, hopefully it's not in relation to this devil energy though. All right, so show me this King of Pentacles for Wednesday. No, sorry, Tuesday. We're on Tuesday for Libra. Wow, the Six of Wands. So this could be around work if you're not dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, there's some type of success here, or maybe it's just around this person, but somebody could be getting like a raise, a promotion, seen in the public eye, or it's just generally like a lot of freaking happiness there. Um, a lot of stability. 
with that king of pentacles type energy um the fool yeah i mean you're feeling good at stuff like there you're feeling optimistic cheerful there's just something that's got you like on top of your game on tuesday doing the damn thing all right show me the six of pentacles for wednesday for libra okay oh well if this does not have to be it for you i'm just saying it's the first thing that came up if there was like two sides to the story that you're dealing with the person you're dealing with or somebody's energies would pull something's ending there um that was just the first thing so um but the, it was like the first feeling all these cards with the six of pentacles it's about when things are supposed to be like equal give and take a flow to them right so if like somehow here the scales were like tilted and were not balanced on one side of those things are ending there could be some type of ending around that tell me about that ten of pentacles though because that can also um not for all but that could be like um cash flow give me one more for wednesday for libra the seven of cups the king of pentacles it looks like the the same kind of energy with the day before you have the six of pentacles the seven of cups so somebody could have had options here or like had different choices and ended one of those um I mean, it still feels like there's maybe some confusion behind it. It doesn't so much feel like it has to be money, though. Because it really doesn't feel like it's money. It feels like, like I said at the beginning, somebody that doesn't want to let go of a situation. So maybe things weren't all the way, whatever it is, balanced. So it looks like on one side of that, or things weren't equal give and take. Or somebody maybe was giving it to people or two things that were causing something to be off balance something there is ending around that show me this devil for thursday the libra so again capricorn energy but the devil can represent an ex like the six of cups this could be someone that you have children with something like that the magician um i mean this is somebody trying to come back uh, it could be somebody like all the way back from childhood but it kind of feels like um this is that energy that was trying to hold on even if it's not a person here um uh, it could be because this could present like some type of temptation or something but this this person this is this is trying to come back and you're, you're manifesting you have the power to manifest so um the devil is there it could just be this a capricorn for some it could be like um greedy reasons and it doesn't have to be like on your side but yeah you got shit moving there it would be pretty good if the devil won't there so if you're dealing with the capricorn cool if not um just use your intuition because it is definitely here for you this week overall it looks like a good day like you're happy but um just use your you know your your best discretion there all right so friday of the high priestess which is all about intuition the eight of wands again and the hierophant for some of you okay oh the hierophant and the high priestess <clears throat> that's almost like a, that's a step up from this emperor and empress so you could be doing something spiritual for some, it's like parents, somebody who could, you know, possibly be very religious here. There's some type of communication, though. For some, it's almost like you're moving forward with something that um, it feels like it's like a higher level of something with someone or, you know, within yourself. But it feels like you're taking, like you're actually, it could be communication but, or you could just be moving forward, right? could be with the Taurus but my point is like this is something that's just almost not like the ordinary if that makes sense the Hierophant is a higher calling so but it also feels like um you're keeping that to yourself here 
for some it's just i mean it can be just simple as communication from possibly somebody you haven't spoke to in a while but like family i mean you could be doing like i said something spiritual as well all right show me the seven of pentacles for libra for saturday thank you the five of pentacles and the chariot all right a couple of ways this is going because uh for some you could be dealing with a cancer here it's almost there could be money issues with the five of pentacles um there also could be like something around a car that um like somebody needs help paying for that's not for all for some somebody's just sitting here doing a lot of contemplating possibly something that you put a lot of time and energy to because now, now someone's feeling like abandoned it's like in the middle of it all wanting to move forward wanting to get things or trying to get things back on track but that may take some like a waiting period because this is about like planting seeds and waiting for it to grow waiting for it to come to fruition so it feels like somebody is thinking a lot or you could be investing time and energy but there's either there's some type of loss around this whether that's financial or just feeling left out lonely but it could also be, you know, around trying to invest time and energy into something to try to like pull yourself out or their selves out of this situation. Because it could just be money issues. But for some, it's like somebody is, is kind of feeling left out of a situation, but they're thinking about it quite a bit. It comes back to like a lot of stability that, need, that someone really needs here. So definitely like that root chakra yeah exactly the ten of pentacles stability security money commitment loyalty so all right libra i hope this helped if it resonated please make sure that you like and subscribe below don't forget that it's timestamp below as well uh if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading you can find that information below too all right leo i will talk to you later bye